Skype is a VOIP service that enables people to make and receive free voice and video calls over the internet using a computer, web browser, or a mobile phone. VOIP, or Voice Over Internet Protocol, enables communication that goes around the standard methods of landlines and cellular plans. Uh, Skype has been a staple in communication for many years, reaching 4 billion total users, with more than 300 million monthly active users, and more than 40 million concurrent users, making it the perfect platform for criminals to take advantage of unsuspecting victims. Criminals have managed to earn an estimated $3 billion a year from various cybercrimes. One of the most prominent is sextortion, or cyber blackmail, and this is what we'll be discussing today. If you're using Skype, you should be aware of sextortion scams. Criminals are targeting Skype users at an alarming rate, trying to extort money by threatening to release compromising videos or images that they've obtained through deceptive communication. It's a serious crime that can have devastating consequences for its unfortunate victims. Skype dating scams are becoming increasingly common and are often hard to spot. The scammers would usually create a fake profile on a dating site or social media platform and then flirtatiously persuade their victim to start chatting on Skype. They'll first gain their victim's trust by pretending to be interested in them and then ultimately begin asking for money. The scammers will often ask for money to help with a medical emergency or to pay for travel costs so that they can meet their victim in person. They may even send fake photos or videos to corroborate their stories. They use the trust that they've built as well as their victim's emotions to forge a relationship that is transactionally based. However, once victims stop willingly paying them, the real trouble begins. They may claim to have footage of their victim in compromising or sexual situations. If that kind of content was sent to them, it was definitely saved and they likely do have it. If a victim did not send that sort of material, they're not out of the dark yet. It's not uncommon for a sextortion scammer to create fake images using a victim's actual photos. Now, these images and video clips can be just as damaging, if not worse, than the actual footage, especially if the content is edited in a taboo way and posted on a one-page website. These websites can be easily discovered by anyone with just a simple Google search of the victim's name. The situation quickly becomes a never-ending demand for payments so that they won't release the content, making their victim's life a living hell, stuck between pay them or be exposed. Most victims suffer in silence for months or even years before getting help. Many victims of sextortion have no idea what to do once they're faced with the demands of a blackmailer. It's normal for a victim's first instinct to be to block the criminal and hope they just move on and disappear. Unfortunately, that is not how sextortion works. So, what should you do if you found yourself in this situation? The first and most important thing to do is report it to the police. While they may not be able to stop the criminal, it's very important to have it on record that you are a victim of a serious crime, and the sooner you report it, the better. You should also consider changing your Skype password and enabling two-step verification to protect your account in the future. There are also a few things that you can do to try and stop the blackmailer from contacting you again. Unfriend the sextortionist account. This will prevent them from seeing your active status, however, they may still be able to message you if you accept their message request. Report the scammer to Skype. While this doesn't always guarantee immediate results, it can be helpful in many ways. Report the scammer to the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center. The IC3 is a partnership between the FBI and the National White Collar Crime Center, and they accept complaints about a wide range of internet-related crimes, uh, including sextortion. Again, this isn't an immediate fix, uh, but it is important documentation of the crime. And finally, get outside help. There's no shame in admitting that you're being blackmailed or extorted online. It's a serious issue that affects far too many people, and it's not something that very many can handle on their own. That's where Digital Forensics Corporation comes in. We're the leading experts in this field, and we can help you take care of the problem once and for all. We understand the shame and embarrassment that comes with this type of situation, and we're here to help you through it. Through cutting-edge tactics and technology, we can intercept and mediate communications while maintaining your privacy. These criminals won't stop until they're tracked down and forced to stop, and that's what we do here. So. Don't hesitate. Contact us today. We can help you fight back against online blackmail and extortion no matter where it occurs. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.